so what happened is the FAA inspector said, hey, Sharky, let's just stop right here. I want you to excuse the applicant, bring the CFI into the room with me. And that's not good. I mean, you know, yep. the poor guy for 20 minutes got a lecture. All right. You got any jokes for us, Chris? Liven up the mood for the last one? Uh, Can't dance, so you might as well do something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Do I have a joke? Yeah, Let have me a good think joke. about that. I'll right. think about that one. All right. Think of a good joke. All right. Welcome back to the last tip from designated pilot examiner Randy Sharkey with Sweet Helicopters. Chris is thinking up a joke <laughs> while Randy goes through his next tip. So we want to thank Randy again. We might even, if he, uh, with his permission, we might even transcribe up his tips and put them at the end. Because Taz, of this book, Taz Chrisman did go out and interviewed two or three examiners in the Las Vegas area, and he put their tips inside this book. So you got the tips from me and Taz, examiners in the Vegas area, and if with Randy's permission, we'll add his ten to the end, and if he says no, I'll just edit this out, and you'll never even know I made the offer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good. You have my permission as of right now. You awesome. may use these recommendations and suggestions. Awesome. We will transcribe these up, and they will be a new addition to this book that you can get for free down below. All right, Randy, give us your number 10. All right, guys, welcome aboard again the H-130 today as we cruise around northern Indiana. We are down to the uh, the last one that I tried to come up with, uh, pet peeves for DPEs. Again, these are just my ideas. Uh, other DPEs might have other suggestions as well. But incorrect or lack of endorsements has become a hot topic lately with the FAA. And this is normally documented in the, uh, the back of your pilot pilot's personal logbook, and we've also noticed where some instructors are not l logging the ground instruction that is required for certain ratings, so it really just all comes down to the, the right documentations. We've seen many incorrect endorsements, particularly for add-on ratings, so make sure your instructor knows that those endorsements are important, and if you want to check it yourself, Here's a source for you. A great source is the advisory circular, 61 through 65H, dated August of 2018. And if you don't remember that, just search FAA pilot endorsements, and I can assure you that that uh, link will come up. Again, it's the advisory circular, 61 through 65H. It shows you every endorsement that you'll have to have in your logbook when you go see the pilot examiner. Get it? That's a great one, and for many years, I would always give my time for free and go with students to the check ride. And endorsements was one of the reasons I would go, just because it's like, it's so easy to screw up that part of the check ride, and then nobody's happy when the instructor's not there, student shows up, instructor didn't give the right endorsements, right. examiner can't give the test, everybody's time's wasted. So I always went along for that reason, just because I wanted the check ride to go the first time. And the 6165 you mentioned, the, the first examiner I ever worked with when my career was brand new, when I went to do my first CFI, he said, hey, each, whenever you bring me a CFI, download that 6165 for them or make them download it and bring it, have, have them bring that with them during the check ride. So every CFI I've done for 25 years, 20, I don't know, 22 years, whatever, 20 whatever years it is, every CFI student I've sent has had a paper printed document of 6165, and Randy's right, everything's in there. The endorsements are in there, so, you know, if you have it on the table and you're nervous during the check ride, and you got it sitting there, the examiner may go, well, you got your endorsements right there. Show me. And, you, right. you know, so 6165, absolutely. So many people will ask questions, and, every, and usually when I say, have you looked at 6165, they almost always say no. They wow. almost always yeah. tell me no, and I'll go, download that, and then take a look at that, and then ask me that question. Well, let me give you a good example, Kenny, why I brought this one up. It was over in uh, Porter County. It was one of those flights that I had to be observed on. As a DPE, once a year, we have to be observed by an FAA inspector. So I had the uh, I had the student there. I had the applicant there, as well as the CFI. He came along with the applicant that day. And part of the uh, briefing is, before we start the test, is to make sure that 
all the endorsements uh, have been done in the back of the logbook. And sure enough, this was an add-on rating, and the CFI had improperly endorsed the student for that check ride that day. So what happened is the FAA inspector said, hey, Sharky, let's just stop right here. I want you to excuse the applicant, bring the CFI into the room with me. And that's not good. I mean, you know, yep. the poor guy for 20 minutes got a lecture on why it is important to have the proper endorsements. So that's why I mentioned that one today, Kenny. Well, and it is so big for... This is so big for us, not only just the CFI, but the people working towards the CFI to get that thing early, be looking through it, and anybody can access it for free. You can just leave it on your electronic document or print it off if you like, but it's, it's, that's a tool that every single CFI you should have that thing on hand when you're looking up endorsements. Yep, I agree. Absolutely. Yep. I have mine printed off and in my instructor notebook. So, Do you remember back in the day, did I, did I make you download it? Yep. I'm sure I did. Yep. yep. That is the 6165H, and the most recent one, I believe, is dated August 2018. Awesome. Well, that's our 10 from Randy, so I'm going to thank Randy again for taking the time to come up with these 10. And uh, sweet, and thanks, sweet helicopters, for letting me borrow Chris for the last month and a half and fly the cabri and shoot in and around their hangar. It's been, we've had a blast. Can't reveal too much on anything that might be coming up, but let's just say more fun stuff. More fun stuff. I don't know what else to say other than comment below and subscribe or not. I don't care. <laughs> Click the bell or not, it doesn't matter. Click the bell. Click the dislike bell. If, hey, if you want to, if you want to dislike the video, make sure you click that dislike button twice. Click it once, and then click it again, <laughs> because you want to give us a double dislike <laughs> on that video. And we're coming in for a landing. Look at how they're flying like yeah. a pro. We, we know you're out there, you disliker. You, yeah. you click the button before the video even airs. <laughs> we know you're out there. Go ahead and double click. Why don't you? Yeah, double click before the video airs, Mr. Hater. <laughs> it could be a female, too. Who knows? It might be some woman you made mad alone. Well, I don't know. Maybe they don't like my dancing. I don't know. Minimums. Minimums. Did you come up with a joke? No, uh, yeah, I don't I, have a joke. Uh, you can retell your, your, uh, I, I, ghost, your ghost. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll have one for next time. I'll have okay. I got so wrapped up in trying to make an approach here. Romeo, two miles outside of Bala on the ILS 27. Goshen.